King Saul and his son Jonathan had died on the battlefield. An Amalekite man with torn clothes came up to David and said that he had killed the king. The man thought David would be pleased, but David said, Why weren't you afraid to destroy the Lord's anointed one? And the young man was put to death. David was very sad that Saul and Jonathan had died. He mourned and wept and said, How the mighty have fallen! Jonathan had a five-year-old son called Mephibosheth. When his nurse heard what had happened to Saul and Jonathan, she picked him up and ran away, but she dropped him and he became lame. Meanwhile, David went to the city of Hebron in Judah, and there he was anointed as king over the people of Judah. But Abner, the commander of Saul's army, took Ishbosheth, one of Saul's sons, and made him king over the other tribes of Israel. Abner went out and met Joab, the commander of David's army. Abner's men sat on one side of a pool, and Joab's men sat on the other side. They decided that twelve young men from each side should fight in a contest, but they all killed each other. A fierce battle began, and Abner's men were beaten. As Abner was running away, Joab's brother, Azahel, who was very fast, chased after him. Abner told him to stop, but Azahel wouldn't. Then Abner struck him in the stomach with the back of his spear, and Azahel died. Azahel's brothers, Joab and Abishai, went after Abner, but as night fell, they gave up the chase. There was a long war between David's men and Saul's men, but one day Abner became very angry at something King Ishbosheth had said, and he went over to David's side. Joab wasn't pleased when David welcomed Abner. Abner had killed Joab's brother. So Joab met him at the gate of the city and killed him. David was very sad to hear that Abner had died, and he was angry with Joab and Abishai for being so harsh and violent. When Ishbosheth heard that Abner had died, he was very scared and dismayed. Ishbosheth had two captains called Barna and Rechab. One day, they went into Ishbosheth's house while he was lying on his bed, and they put him to death. Then all the tribes of Israel came to David and anointed him as king over all the people. He went to the city of Jerusalem, where the Jebusites lived, and conquered the city, and it was called the City of David. And he kept becoming greater and greater, for the Lord was with him. When the Philistines heard that David had become king, they came up to fight him. But the Lord was with David, and he won a great victory over the Philistines. We learn from this what an evil thing it is wrongly to take someone's life. The Amalekite said he killed Saul. Joab killed Abner, and the two captains killed Ishbosheth. But David wasn't pleased with any of them. They acted wickedly. And we learn that God's king is often rejected. Most of Israel didn't accept David to begin with, just as most people don't accept God's son, the Lord Jesus. And we learn that God's presence makes all the difference. David became great and won battles because the Lord was with him. He is the one who can make us strong and victorious.